Hello, welcome to the closet tour. I just wanted to show you guys what's in every drawer and cabinet because we super plan these. My big tip for you is bring a list to Ikea of everything that you want in your closet. Um, and then you know how many shoes you have, how many drawers you want. If you want little bins, like you can plan every single thing knowing your inventory and like your dreams of what you wish you could fit in here. And you'll actually see that not only do we fit all of my clothes, all of John's, all of our shoes, a hamper, but we have an entire linen closet in here too. So we basically kept the exact same square footage. This closet was always this size and it used to just have a hanging bar and a bunch of like shoe holders on the floor and a dresser and we totally, it totally redeemed itself. <laughs> you get that reference? It, um, it's just much more efficient for us without adding any space or making a huge closet. It's um, eight feet wide by six feet deep. It enabled us to just put cabinetry on either side, a mirror at the back and a whole bunch of functions. So I will show you everything inside of it. We have my um, jackets and my long sleeve shirts right here. Um, in our very first house, we had an Ikea pack system that was very similar 10 years ago with this hanging bar and I had shelves down here and John had drawers. So it's really fun to get back to it because it's been six years in this house with the bad hanging bar situation here. So I'm very excited to have something that makes more sense. Um, I also got a lot of questions like, hey, did you do one long hanging space? I didn't, but I recommend you doing whatever you have. Take inventory before. I have two long dresses, but they're real stretchy and they're easy to fold over the hanger this way. It doesn't make them creased or make them look bad when I wear them. So I thought it would have been crazy to do a hanging bar for that. And instead I get two hanging bars and I get, you know, all my dresses down here, all my tanks and shirts up here. Um, these are the ones I don't want to fold. They're like a silkier material. Um, so it just really was functional for me to do two, but if you need a long one or if someone buys this house in 20 years and they need a long one, they can just take this bar out. It's all very, very flexible. Also, my wedding dress, do you guys remember when I dyed this like 10 years ago? Still got it. Um, that shelf has a basket on it, the basket is empty. I like that because it's not exactly easy for me to access and I like having room to grow. I think when you're planning a closet and you have a spot for everything to be wedged in, you might really regret not having extra space or um, room to grow or flexibility. So like an example would be if I got into some new hobby and I had a lot of clothes for that hobby, I could put my bathing suits off season up there and I could put the clothes for that hobby here. So I like that flexible space of that to be determined shelf up there. Um, this shelf actually, this basket, and there's one across the way on John's um, side too. We have a perfectly worked out um, use for those that we really want to stick to and it is donations. Our kids outgrow stuff so fast, we figure out that we have stuff we want to donate and until this point we'd like leave a pile on the dining room or in the car trunk and drive around with it for months. And so having a basket where we can just throw stuff and once a year put it all in a hefty bag and take it and donate it, I feel like having a system will make me feel even more organized. So I'm excited we figured out a use for that area. Um, down here is my drawers. This is basically everything that used to be in my dressers and now I've got to come in here so when I get dressed I can get dressed in all one place. I have underwear, socks, bras, bathing suits. I have my t-shirts and I love that things aren't so crammed. I know everyone laughs that I have no clothes because I literally have four long sleeves shirts and sweaters. Um, but it works for me and I can see everything and I need a drawer whether I have like five sweatshirts or 10 sweatshirts or 20 sweatshirts. I feel like you need a sweatshirt drawer. So this is a perfect system for me to find everything. I've got my jeans and my joggers in here. Um, these are just things I decided not to hang. So you want to figure out if you're going to want to hang your jeans, if you're going to want to hang your sweaters. I prefer to fold those things. So I planned the closet around that. I also have um, shorts in here and this is my like painting, workout, yard clothes, sleeping clothes. So they're just like, I wear these inside out if I'm painting. I might wear them outside to do yard work and that's where I store them. And this is kind of like Mediva side of the closet. This is like less necessary and more fun. Um, I really knew I wanted this jewelry pullout from the beginning. Um, I love that Ikea has all these different fittings. I loved this one for my purposes, but they also sell one that like holds rings and 
bigger glass cutouts. They have like all sorts of different um, sorting or like containing devices. I love that they're built to fit in perfectly. And I really like that I did a glass sheet right here. Like you can choose a solid shelf or a glass shelf because I wanted to be able to see down in there, take inventory of what I have and then kind of pull it out and grab what I want. It feels like I'm shopping at my own very fancy jewelry store. I'm in love with it. I even got a little Lisa Vanderpump and I put like shoes and my little leopard clutch back there because I just thought it was cute. But this is generally the area for purses. I have my most often used stuff downstairs in the mudroom, but this is like other stuff I grab. I've got, this is like a um, hair tie, a scarf, a clutch, my weekender. You guys always see me with when I travel. And then down here I have my shoes. These are lesser worn because my main shoes are downstairs in the mudroom. And I did them on a pullout because I wanted to make use of the back and have it come to me instead of having to get on my knees and reach back. If these were just fixed shelves, I'd have a harder time getting to stuff. So it feels really functional for me, having them all on a pull out. This one I have to bend over for, but I don't have to crawl on the floor to get to the back of it. And that's another empty basket. So donations are the central baskets, which I think we will fill up in a year. And then the side baskets are empty, just room to grow, flexibility. We could reformat things and move the shelves down if we wanted, who knows what the future will hold. Um, this is our linen closet. It is all right here. And as a visual, if you look where that pipe is sticking up from the ground, that's where my tub's going to be. I'm going to have a big soaker tub right there, and those things coming out of the wall are going to be the faucet. That used to be where there was a linen closet. And in taking that out, and I earned room for a tub, and I just was like, it would be nice to get the linens in this closet. Full disclosure is that we have a hall closet that would have worked. We could have easily just moved them out there. But I think we were so used to having the linens in here and walking into this room to get them that we thought it'd be even more bonus to get them in the closet. So we did. We accomplished it. And it only took a few shelves and a few drawers. So we have like spare pillow, packing blanket. This is like great for Craigslist pickups and stuff, moving furniture. Our beach towels, our bath towels. We have our um, washcloths, some sheets. There are other, like the kids' sheets are in here. This is like the spare room sheets in here. And then we have John's shoes down here. Again, we did a pull out so that they come to you. He's not accessing these every day. They're just like special occasion, but it is nice to just pull them out. He even found a spot for his little like clip in. Oh, oh, I'm breaking my bike shoes. shoes. No, this is your band. This yes. is an identification band. Um, so it's nice to just have a spot for that. those. Those didn't used to be with other shoes, and it's cool to have a spot to put like with like. Feels very organized. Um, this is John's hanging bar and drawers. Literally 10 years ago, same system in our first house. The IKEA pack systems are so good. Um, he just did things like socks, underwear, hats, sweatshirts, undershirts. And that's an example, this too, of like 3M command use the velcro strips to hold these things in place because they don't move all around and it keeps things separated so like here the hats have a spot and these never deviate because i 3m commanded them in place and here they keep these separated since i secured them they're just sleeve shorts long sleeve shirts short sleeve shirts um this is jeans and shorts and we have, oh, this is really funny. <laughs> this is John's like work clothes. So like tiling or painting, he has a painting belt. Basically anything John ruins doing a job that he shouldn't have been doing in nice clothes, they end up in his drawer. So there's a plethora of them, but it's shorts, long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, um, four, four painting hats. You know, you don't need just one, but I'm, I'm just joking, but I actually like this system of his because it's just one drawer and everything fits in it. I have my inside out weird system. He has probably a more normal one, although I don't know how many people have four hats and a painting belt. And then we have bathing suits, workout clothes. These are like jogging, running, you know, um, these are like his swim shorts for triathlons. It's all in one spot. Over here, we have another hanging bar. Um, this is like his suit jackets, his sweatshirts. These are like not sweatshirts, like fancy shirts, sweaters with a zipper, you know those? And then um, ties. This is a pull out, I'll show you. So he can like reach everything in the back. And then he's got his dress pants on one of these like multi-pant hangers so he can reach them. That's another empty basket. So again, we're just building in function for down the road. If we ever need it, we have it. Um, speaking of function, I'm sure this closet is tall. We made a spot for a little step stool, fits right in there and it helps me reach things. So like if I had donations, I could just grab it, put my stuff in 
and I wouldn't have to bring a chair in from my daughter's room because that's the closest like portable chair I could bring in here every time I wanted something up high. I think it's really smart to think about like what will annoy you about a certain space and then just solve it. And the great thing about it is that even with this here, there's still plenty of room to reach into the hamper. Another tip is don't put your shelf like right above your hamper. You need space for your hands to go in and to remove the hamper when you're doing laundry. Um, so that has been super functional for us. And I think that's everything, right? I hope you like the tour. And what's a witty thing to say as I leave? Check you later. Coolios. That was awful.